Okay, let's start. The problem is so that a Johnson counter with n flip flops produces a sequence of two n states. That means the number of states is equal to twice the number of flip flops. So in the second part of the problem, we have to list the 10 states produced by five flip flops and Boolean terms of each of the 10 n gate outputs. Okay, that means we have to write the decoding expression also and we have to list the 10 states for five flip flops. Here we can see that in the first part we are mentioned that if we use n number of flip flops we have twice n states. So here we have to use five flip flops and we have to show that we have 10 states and we have to make a list of them. So if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for getting the notification of my future uploads. In the first part we have to show that we have twice n the number of states where n is the number of flip flops. So this part is almost the similar of the second part. So if we consider five number of flip flops and if we can show there are 10 number of states produced, then this first part of the problem is automatically proven. So first of all, we'll make the list of 10 states using five flip flops that are shown below. So suppose we have a clock here, then we have suppose the outputs of the five flip flops so here we'll have q5, q4, q3, q2, q1. Okay, here we have five flip-flops. Suppose if we get 10 number of states here, so we can say that it will have 10 number of states using five flip-flops. These are the five flip-flop outputs. So here we'll apply the clock signal. Suppose there is no clock signal, all the flip-flops are reset. So here we'll have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. If we have the first clock signal, this is one first clock signal, what will happen? This complemented output of this last flip-flop, okay, that will be feedback here at this input of this leftmost flip-flop. Okay, that means when we have zero, the complemented output will be one. That means it will this one will enter here. Okay, and this bit will be shifted towards right. So this zero will come here. So this zero will come here. This zero will come here. And this zero will come here. So with the next positive edge of the clock or negative edge of the clock, whatever we have used for the triggering, this flip flop will have transitions. So previously this output has zero. So the complemented output will be one. That one will come here and this one will come here. That means shifted towards right. Here we'll have zero, zero, zero. Next again, zero. So one will come here. One, 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 zero, zero. Again, we have zero. So one will come here. One, 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 zero. And again we have zero, so we'll have one again. Okay, so here we'll have one, 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 one. Okay, now we have one at this last flip flop. Okay, or the rightmost flip flop. So the complemented output will be zero. So zero will enter here now. Okay, so here we'll have zero, one, 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 one. Because these bits are shifted towards right. Next we'll have one again. So it will have we'll have zero here. Zero, zero, one, one, one. Okay, next we have again zero. So here we'll have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Again we have 1. So here we'll have 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, again we have 1. So we'll have 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. That means this was, was the initial condition. We have reset. Now again after 10 clock cycles, we have attained at the same state. Okay, therefore a 5 flip-flop. Johnson counter will have 10 number of states. So using five flip-flops, we have got 10 number of states. This means that a Johnson counter with n number of flip-flops produce a sequence of two n states. So these are the sequence of two n states. That means from 0, 0, 0, it will go to 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, then we have 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So let me draw the state diagram of this table okay state diagram so from this state diagram we can see that from 0 0 0 it is going to 1 0 0 0 next from here it will go to 1 1 0 0 0 and from here it will go to 1 1 1 0 0 similar to this previous table i have made so in this way it will repeat the sequence and it will go to again 0 0 0 that means here we have 10 number of states okay so this one is one state 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10. In the second part of the problem, we have to list the 10 states produced with 5 flip-flops. So we have shown this. Now we have to see the Boolean terms of each of the 10 and get outputs. Now we have to make a table for the count value and respective Boolean expression. 
now here we will make a table okay the count value and the boolean terms are listed below okay. count value here we have suppose count sequence and here we will have suppose boolean expression so count sequence will be q5 q4 q3 q2 q1 count value suppose 0 here we will have 0 0 0 0 0 so here we will have boolean expression so how you have to find out boolean expression so you have to see this first term and this last term so they are both 0 so here we can write it is q5 bar and this is q1 bar next we have count sequence 1 the count sequence will be 1 0 0 0 0 and here you can see that you have to now see this and this so 1 means you can directly write as it is q5 and q4 is 0 so q4 complement next we have two count sequence so here we'll have 1 1 0 0 0 you have to see this one now so here we'll have q4 q3 bar q4 q3 bar suppose now we have count value 3 so here we'll have 1 1 1 0 0 okay here also we have to see this 1 and 0 and you have to write the term respective to this column okay that means here we have q3 is 1 and q2 is 0 so here we have q3 q2 complement now we have count value of 4 so here we have 1 1 1 1 0 so here we have q2 q1 complement next we have 5 so 1 1 1 1 1 whenever we have all the 0 we consider the first and the fifth here also we will have all the ones so here we will consider the first and the last one so here we will have q5 q1 q5 q1 next we have sixth so here we will have 0 1 1 1 1 so here you have to consider this 0 and adjacent 0 and 1 you have to consider okay so here we will have q5 bar q4 q5 bar q4 and then we have 7 count sequence okay so here we will have 0 0 1 1 1 so here you can see you have to see the adjacent 1 and 0 here we'll have q4 bar q3 q4 bar q3 these are the boolean expressions okay next eight count sequence is 0 0 0 1 1 so here we'll have this q3 bar q2 q3 bar q2 next we have nine count sequence so here we'll have 0 0 0 0 1 this one is 0 and this one is 1 adjacent to 0 and 1 so here we will have q2 bar q1 so after this we will get 0 0 0 again okay so what we will have for 0 0 0 again this will be the boolean expression so this table represents the count value the count sequence and respective boolean expressions here we have 10 boolean expressions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so here we have 10 expressions so i will draw here the circuit design so here we'll have five flip flops okay this is one suppose two three four and five flip flops suppose okay suppose they are d flip flops this is d5 d4 d3 d2 d1 and we have considered that the outputs are q5 q4 okay these are the outputs so this output will be connected here to the second input and this output will be connected here and here we will have q3 q3 will be connected to this d2 here we will have q2 output this q2 will be connected here at this d1 and this d1 will have q1 output and here we will have a complemented output this one is the q1 output and here we will have q1 complement okay so this complemented output will be connected to this d5 input and here we will apply a synchronous clock signal okay so here we'll have the clock signal so this is the circuit design without self correction now if we design this circuit with self correction so in the previous problem we have seen that we have to modify this third output with a equation of d3 is equal to b whole into a plus c so this is the johnson counter circuit with five flip-flops and ten number of states without self-correction now if we modify the circuit with self-correction okay so what will happen so we have to modify this third output so all the other parts of the circuit will remain same
okay so this part will be similar to this problem so first flip flow output will be the second flip flow input okay now here we have to make, make some correction so the equation was d3 is equal to b whole into a plus c so this a was the first step okay so this will have here b means this q4 q4 whole into this a means q5 q5 plus this c means this one q3 q3 so we have to use this equation here this q5 plus q3 so bring a line from here q5 and add it to q3 okay so this connection will be the similar to this previous one take a connection from here and make the input of a or get okay so here we'll get q5 plus q3 now we have to multiply it with q4 okay so because here we have b is q4 okay and the output of this n gate is connected to this d3 so here we'll have at this output of this n gate so here we'll have q4 whole into q5 plus q3 so here we'll have the synchronous clock signal so this is the modified circuit for self correction okay so this is the solution of the problem number 6.30 from the chapter number 6 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you